Today, we're going to be showing you step by step how to assemble your brand new Mafia bike. Your bike will be delivered in our brand new downsized packaging. This new design has helped proven to reduce any damage that may be inflicted whilst during delivery. You may notice the new tension plugs on the outside of the box. These prevent the carton bulging during the shipping process. Now let's open the box to reveal the bike. Using a pair of cutters, very carefully remove the cable ties that secure the tension plugs either side of the bike. Remove the bike from its box and all the contents. The knockdown state of the bike may be daunting to some, however do not despair, it's actually very easy to assemble. As well as the bike, you should have an envelope which contains the handlebar pad and maybe the top tube pad, depending on your chosen model. You should also have a box that contains the following accessories. There should be a set of pedals. There should be some nut and bolts for your stunt pegs. For geared bikes, you'll have a 10 speed chain with the split link. For the OW bomber, you'll have a quick release axle. All bikes will have the additional road kit and also a handy multi-tool. For the assembly of the bike, we recommend the use of mechanic grade tools. Other loose parts will include a pre-fitted seat and post combo, which will be stored in between the rear triangle of the bike. Remove the seat and post and install it into the seat tube of the bike. Tighten the seat clamp, but leave sufficient post out for use in a bike stand. We always recommend using a bike stand where available. With the bike now ready to work on, we're gonna take a pair of cutters and slowly move around the bike and release the front and rear wheel. Put these in a safe place and leave all other packaging around the bike at this time. First, we're gonna look at installing the handlebars. Dispose of all the packaging from around the stem. And using an Allen key, remove the four stem bolts and the stem faceplate. Ensuring the brake hose and the gear cable are not twisted, take the handlebars and align the knurl so that it's central in the stem mount. Now return the stem faceplate. Reinsert the four stem bolts and bring your handlebars up into a favoured riding position. In a cross formation pattern, secure down with an Allen key, ensuring the stem has an even clamp across the handlebar. With the bars installed, we will now look at installing the rear derailleur and mech hanger. Please note this is only for the geared Mafia bike models. You can skip for single speed bikes. Carefully remove the derailleur from the rear triangle of the bike and remove all the packaging. Locate the two grub screws on the mech hanger and remove with an Allen key. Keep these safe. Position the mech hanger into the dropout at the rear end of the bike and ensure the grub screw holes align with the holes on the frame. Return the grub screws through the frame and tighten back into the mech hanger. Secure into place. You can now remove all the packaging from the rear of the frame. If you wanted to run pegs on your new bike, now would be the best time to install them. Grab the two stunt peg nut and bolts and then locate the designated peg mounting holes at the rear dropouts on the bike. Using a socket with an extension inside the peg and an Allen key for the head of the bolt, secure your pegs onto the bike. Be sure to tighten efficiently and always remember Mafia pegs are the favoured choice for our own bikes. Now that your pegs are installed, we will need to locate the rear wheel. For the new OW bomber, you will also need the quick release axle. Feed the axle through the rear wheel ensuring a spring is left either side of the cones. Take the wheel and slot it into the rear dropout of the bike and fasten down the quick release. For all other bikes, you can use a spanner and tighten the wheel nuts down as usual. Now locate the 10 speed chain. Lay the chain over the top of the cassette on the rear wheel. and then begin to carefully feed around the derailleur cogs. Make sure it sits smoothly on the teeth and the chain is guided through the derailleur cage. Bring both ends of the chain together and now insert the split links. Align them up through the holes in the chain and then pull them apart to pop them into place. You can now place the chain onto the front sprocket, give it a rotation and we are now done with this section. Now heading to the front of the bike, we're going to remove all the protective packaging from the forks. 
Using a spanner, remove the safety axle used to protect the forks during shipping. Now locate the previously removed front wheel. Ensuring the tyre's rotation arrow is pointing forwards, feed the front wheel axle into the fork dropouts and tighten using a spanner. Next, we will look to install the pedals. The pedals will have a letter on them dictating which is left and which is right sides. It is very important you get this right. Apply some grease to the pedal axles and let's get started on the right hand side first. Carefully align the pedal with the crank arm and very slowly begin screwing in. Making sure the pedal goes in straight is very important. Secure with a 15mm pedal spanner. The left pedal features a reverse thread so it will tighten in the opposite way to normal. Be very careful, as trying to tighten in the wrong way will damage the cranks and the pedals and incorrect installation is not covered by warranty. Once the pedal is threaded in, tighten again with a 15mm spanner. It's time to get some air into the tyres. Remove the dust caps and pump your tyres up to your preferred PSI, ensuring that you do not exceed the max advised on the tyre wall. Before riding we must make sure that the hydraulic brake is lined up correctly. To begin, Loosen off the two brake caliper bolts using an allen key. Now squeeze the brake lever to center the brake pads onto the rotor. And then starting with the most forward bolt on the caliper, tighten both bolts back up. Now release the brake lever and check to make sure the disc is not rubbing. If the brake is misaligned, then it will cause disc flex and will cause unnecessary wear to the braking components. We are nearing the end of our bike assembly, so go ahead and remove all final packaging from around the bike. So we can now go and undertake our final checks. This is a final sweep across the bike to check every nut and bolt is done up securely before riding. We need to make sure there is nothing loose around your cranks, brakes or cockpit. The areas that were normally pre-fitted by the factory. To complete the assembly, you can now add your fresh pad set to the top tube and handlebars of your bike. The road kit is an additional extra which is user preference if you decide to use it. Please see the manual for full installation if required. Thanks for watching. If you have any further questions, you can refer to the bike's manual or reach out to our customer service team through the website on www.mafiabike.com.